A new era of AFK PVM has just entered the game. The combat update has introduced three big changes that specifically alter AFKing metas. These are Damage Squish, Hit Cap Increase, and the Equilibrium Aura. Boss respawn times change depending on how quickly you kill the boss. If you've seen my original KBD guide, you'll remember that getting a kill in half a second is exactly the same as killing the boss in 6 seconds, if you wait for it to respawn. Before you'd be able to get under the 6 second threshold when you had good rolls for your hits. Overpower with the Zut Cape could do 200-400% to damage per hit, so sometimes you'd do as much as 24k damage while sometimes you'd only do 16k. That's a big range of damage which makes your kill times vary a lot depending on RNG. Now the range is 270 to 330 which means you can get much more reliable hits on your enemies and the lower tier damage rolls aren't possible. The catch is the higher tier damage rolls also aren't possible. And that's where the equilibrium aura will come in. Critical hits now do 50% extra damage which is huge when they happen but terrible when they don't. They're inconsistent and not reliable for short AFK fights that rely on consistent, fast times. The Equilibrium Aura has been modified to remove these critical hits and in exchange give you a 12% damage buff. The Aura also lasts 2 hours and it's only tier 2 so you can sustain it indefinitely with Aura resets while bossing. This is going to be the best aura for a large amount of AFK bossing if you can sustain prayer without the penance aura, and we can at KBD. I've used almost the exact same setup from my original KBD guide back in 2022 when I introduced the new Persistent Rage Relic meta. It felt appropriate to come back to this original boss as we introduce yet another meta to the game. Let me know what bosses you want updated next and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the videos. My gear is super simple, a Dragonbane 2H sword with a Zuck cape and Cinderbanes. I'll put the full gear layout in the description, but you can really use anything you want outside these core items. Vestments work extremely well and will push you even closer to 120 kills per hour, but Bandos is basically the same and a lot more affordable, so I went with that for the demonstration and testing. In the first layout I'll go over, we use a Ripper Demon with scrolls set at 1 auto fire for its passive DPS buff and damage. I'll cover a method that gets almost 110 kills per hour without using the Demon later. Perks are important here. You absolutely need the Dragon Slayer perk and Crackling 4 on your armor. I'd strongly suggest Aftershock on your weapon. One thing that's changed with the new combat rollout is the way the Equilibrium perk works. It's been renamed to Eruptive and gives a 0.5% boost to ability damage. I haven't done enough in-depth testing with it yet, but using a Precise 4 Eruptive 2 gizmo I had lying around worked fine for KVD. Obviously, you can get a much better combination than that. For prayers, we use Soul Split and Turmoil and sustain our points with an Elder Overload Salve and a Demon Horn Necklace. For Relics, all you need is Persistent Rage. I use an ancient book in my pocket slot, but a manuscript of full works too. Again, I'll put the full loadout in the description. The bar we'll use is incredibly simple. Overpower, Hurricane, Punish, Sever, and Assault. Sever and Assault will only trigger on kills where Overpower's cooldown doesn't finish in time. Punish typically finishes off the boss with a huge hit due to KBD being below half health. An important part of this method is entering from the wilderness because it gives a 10% damage buff. As long as your skull is off, this is totally safe. I use a portable obelisk to teleport to option 5, then I run past the glaciers, through the gate, and down the ladder. Don't worry if you don't have the portable obelisk, instead you can teleport to the wilderness lodestone and run to an obelisk right there, then teleport to level 44 where you can get the KBD and get your kills. In here, you want to clear the spiders because they'll attack you while you're trying to set up an instance and close the instance interface. Once you get in, turn on your prayers and book, drink your overload, and set up your familiar. 
You want to stand on this exact square for a good aggro on the boss, watch a couple kills to make sure they're going okay, and then sit back and enjoy 115 or more KBD per hour, totally AFK. I told you I'd also go over a method that didn't require a Reaper Demon and gets a similar amount of kills per hour. A second big change with the combat update is the increase of hit caps from 10k to 30k. Previously, if you used Chaos Roar with Overpower, it would cap out at two 10k hits. Now, it doesn't. We'll modify our bar to be Chaos Roar, Overpower, Hurricane, Punish, Sever, and Assault. Every other kill, Revolution will trigger Chaos Roar and Overpower to two hit the boss without a need for damage buffs like a familiar. Personally, I absolutely love this method, but the first rotation is a little bit more consistent if you have a familiar out because of the speed that you kill the boss. However, if you don't have the familiar, it's terrible, and this rotation is the winner by a lot. Next, I have a method that doesn't require a Zut Cape or a Familiar and still gets 100 kills per hour. We'll use the exact same setup as the two other rotations otherwise. The action bar we'll use is Forceful Backhand, Quake, Assault, Hurricane, and Punish. This will unload a bunch of high hitting threshold abilities right away and then finish off King Black Dragon with Punish if he's still alive. Every kill will be 12 seconds or less, giving you 100 kills per hour. If you're not killing him before 12 seconds for some reason, then you can add a familiar back to the loadout which should push you under. Your prayer should be fine with this loadout, but if it's dropping too low, you can add an Ancient Elven Ritual Shard which you activate every 10 minutes or so to keep yourself logged in and keep your prayer points up. It may be possible to create a rotation that can occasionally get 6 second kills without the Zut Cape, Chaos Roar, or Vestiments of Havoc, but it will probably require a lot more cost and effort with things like Weapon Poison, Armor Spikes, and a Familiar. I do think it's possible with some lucky crit procs, but I decided to not spend too much time testing that when we already have some better methods here. And I'll be releasing the easiest way to get a Zut Cape ever very soon. I'm not going to go over lower level rotations in this video, but the old KBD guide will still work very well for that. I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. Also, a reminder to let me know what boss you want to see next. I listen to popular demand as best I can.